Welcome viewers of the Tube and Naven News and Reviews. My name is Sakuda Ben and today I'm having to use my phone instead of my iPod to record. So I'm sorry if there's uh if it's in worse quality than usual. But I have a rare controller in my hands right now. Um uh, one of the most expensive controllers ever bought, possibly the most expensive controller ever bought. The Hori Mini Pad from Japan. Um this was never released in the UK or America or anywhere else but Japan. Um, it even says here, uh, it's actually made in Japan, uh, not China, which means it might have better parts in it as better made. Um, there really isn't that many controllers I don't think are made in Japan, but still, it's cool. And, uh, so yeah, these are highly sought after, um, because it has like a better stick, a better layout, um, good buttons, and, uh, it's got like... It's got drill uh, Z or Z buttons, depending where you're from. So L, L and R are at the top, and there's two Zs at the bottom. So you might have to hold it like this, or you might have to hold it like that, depending on what game you're playing. Um, but it is a moderately comfortable controller. It may have been designed for smaller hands. Because um, I remember, like, this might be a myth, but I heard like Asians may have like smaller hands. Um, I don't know if that's true. But, I mean, something should explain this little crevice here. Maybe your finger's supposed to sit in it in some way, but it uh, works really well. Um, it, again, it's moderately uh, comfortable. It might be the best N64 controller there is out there. Um, until maybe a um, company from today may make a better controller, but this is currently the best N64 controller. And I chose the color green, because green is my most favorite color. And it wasn't too much more expensive than the other ones. Um, so yeah, I, I finally got it. Well, the, this is probably my most sought after controller ever. And I'm happy to have it now. So if you're thinking about getting it, I recommend getting it if you can afford it. But if you can't, then maybe save up for it. Uh, I think it'll probably be worth it in the end. It's a bit smaller than you may think. It, it's certainly is smaller than I imagined. Uh, from like videos of saying I know it's small, but I don't think it'll be this small, but it is pretty comfortable for games It's good for platformers or racers from what I've played so far and I don't really have that many games to use a d-pad. I don't think I have any games that use a d-pad really other than changing maybe screen settings um, A couple of people will complain about the start button here, but I've never had a problem or an instance where um, my thumb or finger has ever hit it by accident because it's just in such a way that it doesn't really happen so um i've been playing smash bros i've been playing mario kart i've been playing uh super mario 64 and it works well for all those games so i do highly recommend so again i'll show you now to get the controller there's enough videos in this controller to be honest um so I thought I'd give all the angles here in this one video, so it can help decide, uh, help you decide uh, to buy it or not. Uh, the stick is slightly uh, wider, slightly thicker stock, I think. Uh, slightly wider top, which is better because you're it gives you more space for your thumb to sit on, um, for more angles, which makes it better and more comfortable to hold than the original N sixty four controller. And uh, the stick might be slightly better than the GameCube one. Of course, my one's not extremely stiff, but I don't know what these sticks would have felt like at first. It might feel like a GameCube controller when you first get one, but you never know. So, uh, thanks for watching my video, guys. I might do a comparison video between the Rafnet adapter and this controller. The Rafnet uh, GameCube to N64 adapter versus uh, the Hori Mini Pad. So, subscribe if you want to see that, and also want to see what I do in the future. Alright then, guys. Bye.